Hello, my dear students. Third prep. This is Unit 4, Science and Technology. Technology plays an important role in our life. It helps us to do many things easily. However, using technology won't be easy if you don't know how to send an email or use a computer. Everybody needs technology in their everyday life. All need to understand how to use the latest technology. Students who are good at STEM subjects can also develop the technology of the future. STEM schools are special schools which focus on developing students' abilities in these subjects. Science, technology, engineering, and math. Now, let's read the text about STEM schools. Then answer some questions. Today, knowing how to use modern technology is essential because people use it every day in schools, at home, and at work. It can be easy if you don't know how to use a computer or send an email. People with many different jobs, such as teachers, engineers, and scientists, all need to understand how to use the latest technology. Students who are very good at STEM subjects science, technology, engineering, and math can also help develop the technology of the future. STEM schools are special schools which focus on developing students' ability in these subjects. There are now STEM schools around the world where lessons are different to those in usual schools. Teachers encourage students to do projects where they work together to solve problems. A lesson might be about how fast a ball falls through the air, or it might be using data to make a graph. Expert teachers help the students through the projects and check their results. In Egypt, there are now STEM schools around the country, and more will be built in the future. STEM school students must be hardworking. All their lessons are in English so that they can understand and use scientific texts from around the world while they study. Experts say that there will be many more jobs in the future that need skills in STEM subjects. When they finish studying, STEM school students will be able to work in exciting jobs that will use the skills that they have learned. Which of the red words in the text mean the following? Are these sentences true or false? Hi everyone, welcome to S&J English. I'd love to go to the French restaurant around the corner one day. It must be really good. It's always full of people. It looks nice, but it must also be expensive. Every customer is so well dressed. Oh, I'm hungry now. You've just had lunch. You can't be hungry already. Our today's topic is Models of Speculation. Must, may, might, could and can't. We use them to make guesses about the present or the future. The structure is modal verb plus infinitive. For example, she could be from England. I'm guessing that she is from England, but I'm not really sure about it. Let's look at the modal verbs of speculation. Models of speculation. Must may, might, could, can't. 
These modal verbs express how possible or certain something is. Must expresses high probability about something. When we use may, might and could, the probability is lower. Here's an example conversation. I need to talk to Barbara. Can you give me her number? Just a second. Where is it? I must have it somewhere. She gave it to me yesterday. Must. The modal verb must is used when something is almost 100% certain. For example, Sandra keeps crying. She must have a problem. If someone cries for a long time, there is a very strong possibility that they have a problem. Can't. Can't in this context is used as the opposite of must. It means that something is almost certainly not true. Example. You've just had lunch. You can't be hungry already. People are normally not hungry just after eating a meal. Who is it? The postman? It can't be the postman. It's only seven o'clock. Oh, it might be Mike. May, might, could. We use may, might and could to say that there is a chance that something is true or that there is a possibility that something will happen. All of them are used to talk about the present or future. When we use may, the possibility is about 50%. Might and could are weaker. Examples. I may go to Paris next week. Nick might come with me. I don't know where Ali is from. He could be from India. Have you talked to our new neighbor? Where is he from? I don't know. I've met him just once. He must be from an English-speaking country. His English is perfect. Well, he may be just good at foreign languages. Is this his child? No. He can't have such a big child. He is just 24. But it could be his younger brother. They look very similar. Guessing is fun, isn't it? See you next time. Thanks for watching, everyone. Are you ready for some more practice? Underline the modal verbs with be in these sentences. Our grammar in this unit is about expressing certainty and uncertainty. Might, must, can be. We can use these modal verbs to say how sure we are about something. We use might to say that we are not sure. 
The phone is ringing. It might be Aunt Mona, but I am not sure. If there is a lot of traffic, I might be late. We use must be when we feel sure that something is true or when we feel sure about it. You must be Selma's sister. You look very similar. We use can't be when we feel sure something is not true. That can't be a real dinosaur. There aren't any dinosaurs on earth. We use the following modal verbs to speculate about the present and the past. Must to express a strong conviction that something is or was true. He drives a Ferrari. He must be rich. May might could to express a possibility that something is or was true. Why don't you ask him? He might, could, may, know the answer. May not, might not, to express a possibility that something isn't or wasn't true. It might not be the right number. Can't, to express a strong conviction that something isn't or wasn't true. You ate five minutes ago. You can be hungry now. Transform these sentences. Now, complete the sentences with might, must, or can't be. Now, let's answer exercise number three. Please read the speech bubble and look at the pictures. Now we are going to talk about them. Look at number one, picture number one. The man on the train might be bored. What about picture two? The man who is running must be fit. Picture number three, the girls can be sad because they are having fun. We are going to read the speech pop. Then look at the pictures. Can you work in the same way to answer these questions using certainty expressions? Let's begin by picture number E. It might be made of plastic. No, I'm sure that it's made of plastic. At all. Look at picture number B. What do you think? It might be made of wood. No, I'm sure it's made of metal because it's a metal band. What do you think about picture two? I'm sure these pair of glasses are made of glass. Now I leave you number G to do it yourself in the same way. Dear students, it's time for review. Now you can talk about technology. Look at number one. Complete the sentences. Data. Do you know the word data? Information or facts. A smartphone. A mobile phone that can work like a computer. E-book. It's a book that can be read online. What about the last word? Wi-Fi. Something which allows mobile computers and phones to connect to the internet. Let's answer this exercise. Number A. Hassan used his smartphone to find out what time the museum opened. Number B. The students use the data from the experiment to draw a graph. Number C. My grandfather doesn't want an e-book because he likes to buy new books from the bookshop. The last one, number D. We can use the internet in this cafe because it has Wi-Fi.
Let's turn to another exercise. Number two, complete the sentences with might be, must be, or can't be. Now, let's answer exercise two. Complete the sentences with might be, must be, or can't be. Number one, Manel must be at home. I can see lights on in her house. Number two, that can't be Hassan's brother. He is working in London this week. Number three, the museum must be closed. There are no lights on. Number four, you won first prize. You must be very happy. Number five, we are not sure how old this coin is. It might be hundreds of years old. Exercise three and the last one. Complete the sentences with these words. Sure, perhaps, must, can't, might. Exercise number three. Complete the sentences with these words. Sure, perhaps, must, can't, might. Number one. I'm sure it's a rich kind. It can be Egyptian. Number two. Perhaps Ahmed will go to London. I'm not certain. Number three. Shehab must be happy. He has just won a gold medal. Number four. Selma might be at the club. I'm not sure. Number five. I'm sure you did well on your exam because you studied very hard. Thank you for listening. I wish you a good benefit. With my best wishes, Mrs. Tahini Lagan.